Hey everyone, this is Homeschool Arcade, helping educators thrive. In this video, we're going to be talking about the largest phylum in the animal kingdom, the phylum Arthropoda. In fact, it is estimated that animals belonging to the phylum Arthropoda, or arthropods, account for around a whopping 80% of all described animals. So let's take a look at the phylum Arthropoda. Now, arthropods include creatures such as spiders and scorpions and insects and mites and millipedes and centipedes and shrimps and lobsters and crabs and, and barnacles and other things as well. And today, we're going to talk a bit about arthropod diversity, their shared features, their ecology, and their interactions with humans. First of all, to say that arthropods are numerous would be a huge understatement. These are, there are around 1.2 million described species of arthropods. However, the estimates for the total amount of known and unknown species ranges drastically. Anywhere from 3 million to 30 million species. And if you're talking about individual creatures, well, scientists estimate that there are around 10 quintillion living insects on the earth at any given time. Yes, I said 10 quintillion. And that's just insects. Not even all of the arthropods are included in that. Either way, that's a whole lot of crawly, creepy, sometimes interesting looking creatures. Now, let's talk a bit about the diversity of arthropods. Arthropods are very diverse both in their size and their structure. The smallest arthropods are a parasitic group of microscopic crustaceans, which are only four thousandths of an inch in length. And the largest arthropod in length, get this, is the Japanese spider crab, which can reach up to 12 feet long from claw to claw. However, the heaviest arthropod award goes to the American Lobster with the heaviest weight ever recorded at 44 pounds. And that's pretty heavy. That's almost as much as my six-year-old daughter. Now, here are some features that arthropods share. As we've seen time and time again, first is they're bilaterally symmetrical. The second thing that they share is they have an exoskeleton, which is an external skeleton. And this is made of a substance called chitin. Third thing they have is they have segmented bodies. Arthropods have three or more pairs of jointed appendages, and the record of most legs of any animal on Earth goes to the one species of millipede that has 750 legs. The fifth thing they have in common is they have a complex nervous and organ system. Now, let's check out our FYI this week. FYI for your are a close relative of the lobster. In fact, crawfish are more closely related to the main lobster than other types of lobster in the ocean. That's crazy. This thing is creepy. Like, ah! They are so close in taste that some restaurants have been caught using crawfish in, in place of lobster. So this in place of lobster. This is the, the version you can eat it and now I'm gonna I'm scared. Mm, I don't like it. See if it's really true. Back to my dad. Let's consider the ecology of arthropods. Arthropods can be found all over the world. In freshwater, saltwater, terrestrial, and air environments, you can find them in the depths of the ocean and high in the mountains. In fact, an arthropod also holds the record for the highest altitude at which a living animal has ever been found in the Himalayas. A jumping spider was found at an amazing 22,000 feet up on Mount Everest. And the majority of arthropods are free living herbivores omnivores or carnivores, while others like ticks, mites, fleas, and even some other tiny species of wasps and crustaceans are parasites. Now, arthropods play an extremely important role and important parts in the environments that they're found in. 
one of the greatest and most important roles of arthropods, and insects in particular, is the role they play in the process called pollination. Now, arthropods are also important to humans in many different ways. Creatures such as crabs, lobsters, crayfish, shrimp, and prawns are, are popular foods among people. And although not common here in the United States, in some places, insects and grubs are also regularly consumed. And in Cambodia, tarantulas are considered a delicacy. Also, because of their role in pollination, a 2008 study estimated that arthropods contributed almost 10% of the value of agricultural products. Bees also produce honey, an important and growing industry around the world. Now, one of the more unique human uses of arthropods is actually, get this, forensic entomology. Crime scene scientists use evidence provided by the arthropods to determine the time and sometimes the place of a human's death. That's pretty intriguing. Some arthropods also pose a risk to humans as some like spiders and scorpions are venomous. And then there are also arthropods that, that carry and spread very har harmful diseases such as malaria or Lyme disease or the West Nile virus to humans. Additionally, many arthropods, mainly insects, are significant agricultural, just, they're annoying, they're pests. Now, there are four major groups or subphyla of living arthropods. And we're gonna go through those right now. And the first group is chelicerates, which includes the horseshoe crabs, spiders, scorpions, and other similar animals. And these animals all have two main body parts and six pairs of appendages, four of which are used for walking. Now, the second group of arthropods are called myriapods. And these are the centipedes and the millipedes. And two of their main features include two main body parts and four or more pairs of legs. The third group is crustaceans. And this includes your, your lobsters, your crabs, your barnacles, your shrimp, your crayf and your crayfish. And crustaceans have three main body parts and varying numbers of appendages and legs. And most of these animals live in the aquatic environments. Now the last and largest subphylum is hexapods, which includes insects and a few other insect-like creatures. All hexapods have three main body parts and three pairs of legs. So let's take a quick look at just a few of these diverse and amazing creatures. Check it out. So now you know more about the enormous phylum Arthropoda. Now watch out for the eighth phylum on its way of the unique phylum known as Echinodermata. And don't forget, click subscribe and the bell as we're coming out with new material all the time. Hope you all have a good one and we'll see you next time.